Well, welcome to the Eleanor D. Wilson Museum. I'm Amy Moorfield. I'm the museum director. In celebration of our exhibition this summer titled Paper Cuts, which focuses on um, the ancient art of paper cutting, we're leading a children's workshop this morning. And we've invited children aged between 7 and 11 to come and make a work inspired by one of the seven artists' work here on view in the museum. Today, the students had a chance to go and take a tour of the museum and learn some of the innovative processes that the artists here have employed to make art exclusively out of paper. It's an opportunity that, um, for us, we want to make sure that the community at large knows that we, of course, serve the Hollands community, but we also serve Roanoke Valley community of all ages. My name is Ashley Wolf. I'm an author and an illustrator. I, I tried to find something that would lend itself to little hands and various interpretations. I'm always uh, expecting that. So this is based on a piece. She did it the same way that we're doing it. She used straight pins, discs of paper, punched paper, sequins, I think she even used some glass beads, and she took a photograph that she then simplified to the point where it appears just as pixels. We're working on a pretty small scale, so I think our squares are only six by six, but we're piling, making little paper sandwiches that consist of discs of color and sequins and either arranging them in patterns or not, <laughs> as the case may be. Well, I hope that they learn what I apply to all art, which is that it's all about the process and not about the result, the product. The joy of being an artist comes from sitting there and experimenting and using color and paint and collage and printmaking. I just like, I think kids should work with their hands. They should work on things that are somewhat abstract that don't really need to create a finished product. The point is to play around with materials, get some ideas about how you like to do things, hang out with other kids who are doing art. That's really important. See that you're not the, the, the only one in your class at school who's interested in this. Um, it uses everyday household materials, um, metal straight pins and pieces of paper. And so, you know, if they want to continue it on their own, if they think, oh, this is fun, I'm going to make another one. Um, I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make a lizard this time. They can do that. All the materials are easy to get.